Yeah, I think it's a very interesting question, right? Where does the learning happen? And I think we're still not at the full kind of learning loop that humans do, yeah. right? Which it's also not really clear. Are humans fully online? Because it's like, you know, <laughs> you go to sleep, like there's a lot of, of you know, sort of backpropagation, so to speak, that happens uh, into your long-term memory. Um, so I think that exactly how humans work is not necessarily mapped, you know, represented by how our machines work. But we are moving from a world where it's just you go and train once and then you're inferencing a ton to a world where there's actually this loop of you inference and you train on those inference things. And one thing that Ilya used to say a lot that I think is, is, is very, very uh, astute is that when the models are not very capable, right, that the value of a token that they generate is very low. When the models are extremely capable, the value of a token they generate is extremely high, right? It's something that's like very thoughtful. It's something that's, that's you know, that's important. And reinforcement learning has this property, right? That you're generating a bunch of data because the model's trying stuff, and then you train on that data. And so somehow the model's observations, you know, also normalized by contact with reality, or, you know, somehow selected by by contact with reality, get fed back into the machine. 